All this money that was passed through your account, what was it for? This 300,000 that was paid to you, what was it for? This 200,000 that was paid to you, what was it for? All this money was sent to you to take care of a jazzy. Did you do so? You Hey, another buzz buzz between Casey, the musician, or Jazzy and Igwe Credo. Welcome back to Get Around with Olivia, my queens and kings, my correct, correct people. Them, thank you so much. You guys know that I do not take your love, your support for granted. Thank you so much. I appreciate it all. Okay, please help me tops up this video. Please give this video a like. Thank you so, so much, guys. Hey, it is not a small thing. You know. hmm. Let me start by explaining who these people are for those who don't know who they are. Casey is a great musician. He is so talented that he is very, very good at what he does. His songs are just so, so interesting, so beautiful. Okay. Now, the Ojazi. Ojazi is the guy you are seeing right here. He is the one who blew the flute in Oja Piano. I don't know if you have heard the song. It's a popular song. It has gone viral. Not everybody knows Oja Piano. The song that da 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 Yeah, that's the song. So this boy right here, he is the one who blew the flutes in that Oja Piano. Then Igwe Credo is the guy who brought this Ojazi to Casey. All right. So and also according to Igwe Credo, he said he also sang he also performed in this oja piano's song my correct correct people then now the main contender here is that they shot the musical video without involving them they didn't call them they were not in that musical video of oja piano which they said they performed in they are angry that they didn't call them not only that he said that he's calling casey out is also for their payment that they didn't pay them they were not settled he said that the ojazi has been wailing and crying saying a whole lot of things why are they treating him like this is it because it's him why is his own like this is it how they treat other people now igwe credo is feeling guilty because he is the one who actually brought him or took him to casey guys Casey has also replied to what Igwe Credo has said that they were not paid. That even when they came to Lagos, they uh, they put them in a hotel. They were paying for their feeding and all that. Casey has replied. Casey has debunked some of the things that Igwe Credo said. Guys, I am sure you are eager, willing, anxious to hear from the horse's mouth now guys let me allow you guys to first of all hear from igwe credo let's see the clip please it's not easy coming to him on his house so if you come to his house in lagos you 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 will see many people rich men standing to come inside and uh, on a particular day casey called us for meeting and he asked us what did you people want and i told him Olga, what i want is we have made this song it is trending you are rich you have the money he says, should I pay you people for At least if I should pay you people for I can give you people 500,000. This is that I say. Can you pull your bum? What transpired between Igwe Credo? Because all what we see 70. Junior Pope called me some name with Easter paparazzi. Now they in the morning. 
and they need to learn them hype man. And I like to call them this time. I say thank you, sir. I'm available. The person that the manager called me, the manager called me, price is equal. As of then, he had managed Lagos, so seven fifty. Would the manager watch and watch a coach I walk or Messi and Sia and brother or even the moon? Was the legal ticket? As of that period, even about 122,000. Yes, even about ticket. I called you know, to give him feedback about what was going on. JP told me it's not matter, it's not a matter of the money, it's a matter of what you gain from this project. After everything, they agreed on paying 100k. For you to come? For me to come. Remember, now I don't go, I don't, since 2020, if I'm about to battle on flight, and I'm a Jelagos with boss. If you don't book flight, I know they come. Meanwhile, the manager told me not to tell our guy that I'm about to flight. Maybe I'm about to Which made me uncomfortable. And when I got there, I made sure I'm going to go number to the number of flights. I'm going to go to the number of With evidence. But after the whole Easter paparazzi, towards the ending of the journey, Casey said, let's go and make a sound in the studio. We entered the hills and went to the, man, the, the island. We got to the apartment where we were. Uh, to the studio instrument, everything, the whole production is there. Maybe they were making a sound already. I never knew. But what I know and I saw was that he was working on a song or maybe doing a song with Skibi. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Damn, doom, doom. That was when we came in. Mm. And we I just blew his flute, jumped the beat. They had a series of beats. I just jumped on the beat. And me, I did the bum chant. And after everything that night, we went back to the mainland to our hotel. The following day, we boarded and we left. At a particular time, my wife was very heavily pregnant then. Almost due. They called and said they wanted more Oja people to come. I should link up. The manager called, not KC. I sent them to Oja, Oja people. Oja Dika Africa and uh, Oja, uh, Oja Master, the one that used to, uh, is in this soccer. And they went. At the time, they called me and said they want Oja to come again. And Oja went on bus. And they did some touchings, checked their sound. And after the whole audition, Oja was still the best. And after everything, Ojazi came back. Then Ojazi told me after his visit that he was sleeping at the manager's house. But when we came, they paid for a hotel room for us, but we were feeding ourselves. When you guys went earlier, yes. people were feeding yourself, feeding but ourselves. people were staying in, in, in a hotel. In a hotel. But when Ojazi now later went, he was staying yeah, in the manager's staying, house. Yeah, he was staying in the manager's house. So, Ojazi paid for the whole feeding we did in Lagos. For the six days we stayed, for the Easter. The feeding, the laundry, the expenses, everything cost us almost 300 and something. I just paid. That is to tell you that before then, he was doing well. Do you know why he paid? And uh, on a particular day, KC called us for meeting. It was a three-story building up up where his room is and we came up and he asked us what did you people want he said so many things and then allowed us to talk he first of all allowed me to talk and i told him okay, what i want is we have made this song it is trending you are rich you have the money develop us Even if it is too difficult for you to develop us, develop him. He said, should I pay you people for At least if I should pay you people for I can give you people 500,000. This, that, that. I said, don't pay us off. Every music. At least I'm sure that the video, 
he will buy an expensive car. So there is money in the music. Develop us. Give us publicity. Promote us. If you have show that requires that we will go, we will come. Carry us along. Anything you tell us, give us. Let's be part and parcel of all the pro your projects that has to do with this or that. And how do we go? Since you didn't pay us to come and do this thing for you, you just called us and I have a studio. Then I think you should do the very needful. Meanwhile, don't forget. After kind of child and get you money. That is that period. For how many days we were paid 300 k Which is not up to a guy in money. He also promised that he was going to buy us clothes. He said he has so many clothes that he was going to give us. Which he never did until today. Person in purple? Yes. So in the morning when we checked out of the hotel, the last day we stayed, we had to pay for the food we ate, around 70 something thousand. Morning, afternoon and night, 70 something thousand I paid. And we left. I paid for the taxi that took us to the airport. On the road, on the way to the airport, I got an alert of 200,000. I called the manager, I said, Biko, this money you sent is for what? Because it is the least I expected. He said that we came to Lagos now. As artists we are, we need to hope something and be going now. That Oga said we should use it for transport. The evidence to the payment, both the 300k, the whatever flight booking they sent to my account, both the ones I refunded, and this one I'm telling you still there my Zenet app. 200k. Immediately, I opened it. Immediately, showed or just in the pure Oga puta. Oga paid 200k for our transport. But remember, they booked flight for us. My year manager, and what manager told me was, your TFA as people that came, entertainers that came to Lagos to do something and go. I said, Oga, is this the as in the actual? Because as of then, I'm not being a or reality or whatever. What I know about Nakesi was supposed to. On a catalog, or you go create the same send account. Let me pay you people for work well done. Two hundred thousand come for, and what I was told will gain it. See, fair, or guy is going to make any call you to cut the story short up till now. They never came. You, you did a video saying that Casey has settled you that there's no problem. That video, I never said they settled me. I said, I am not having an issue with KC Lipopo or Five Star Music. Mm. And the, the bloggers that we are blogging so many things, consigning whatever, KC on his own has called me, making statements that I'm fighting him, that I'm pushing him. Some of them we are telling him that I'm paying bloggers to blog about him. And I keep on telling him that, okay. I never see money chop now to get money to pay blood. You know how many bloggers that are talking about what you did that is not that you didn't do right? And you are telling me that I'm the one paying all of them. How? Have I eaten? A rich go my for? I said I'm not involved. He said, eh, there is no way you agree that if I should say that I'm not involved, there is no way you agree unless we have to do the video that uh, whatever, whatever video, everything we did there was what they said we should do to come this so that I'm, that, duress. that I'm not involved. I don't know involved. Whether duress or whatever, the, the temperature, the tempo was high. Every Google Junior was I calling hey 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 she goes out to Casey has never posted us on his Instagram Facebook account. You see that the first time music cannot call the corona. Call me and the jazz and say yes we know that you people are not happy. Because we are not happy. Mm. We are not happy. My correct, correct people there. You have heard from the horse's mouth. He has said it the way he feels. That is how it's paining him or paining them because they are two, both Ojazi and Iwe Credo. How they were treated and all of that. Now, guys, remember earlier on, I told you guys that Casey has replied to what Iwe Credo said. 
now my core core people please if you don't have your popcorn your mineral try and grab it because it's gonna be a long ride okay now let's hear from kc and what he has to say concerning what Igwe Credo has said. Let's hear from him. Wow. No dimension. Nothing, nothing. Dime, nothing. All this money that was passed through your account, what was it for? This 300,000 that was paid to you, what was it for? This 200,000 that was paid to you, what was it for? All this money was sent to you to take care of a jazzy. Did you do so? You lied to him. You ripped the young boy out. And now you're coming here to come in and you're going to defend this in court. Do not so, call me the same name um, Mr. You, do not give me your number and I gave a number to my team and my team contacted you and had a verbal agreement with you that you're gonna be paid a hundred thousand for everything you do. You came in with your jazzy saying he's your boy that you're gonna be taking care of him from your pay hundred thousand. That was you guys' agreement. It wasn't my agreement. And when you finished that, we took you guys to the studio, you recorded and you were leaving and paid three hundred thousand because your jazzy did something nice, not even you. Or Jazzy did something to pay three hundred thousand. This is the evidence. Why is what is my problem? KC has never posted us. Yeah, and you say Casey has never um, posted you. You're a big liar. I posted you on my page. I post with my brother, 9th of June. The song dropped second of June. We posted you 9th of June. We posted you even before 9th of June. You know, we kept on posting you even on my faster page. This is it. And you still say, um, I never posted you. I even called you, bought you guys a suit, took you to a restaurant, make a video with my producer so that we can have a proper promotion for the job, which I did and I put it in all the blogs, tagged you. Now you said I never posted you. You're also going to defend it in court. You said I never called you for the music video. You're a big liar. This is a proof of the flight ticket that was sent to you and you refunded it back to us. This is the evidence. When I called you to come for the video shoot, we were supposed to shoot on a Sunday and we'll go to Obi's house on the Monday. But you refused. The other boys from Oweire and Wari that did the cruise dance, I brought in all of them, you know, and this is a proof. They all came and they participated and we went to Obi's house the next day. This is it. You know, we all had fun, we took care of them. Why are you calling me names? You refunded the money that you're busy, you have other things going on. You even called that same period to come and sign your publishing. This is the publishing. Everybody has signed the publishing. Only you and Ojazi. You refused to bring Ojazi when we told Ojazi to come and sign. You said no, that you don't know what he's going to come and sign. You seized him because you want to own him. You want to put him in a contract so he can't deal with anybody. How are you calling us names? You are not taking care of him. Why are you calling us names? He has never ever given us a single show. All the shows I called you for, what did you do? You turned them down. You told me, and you said it in your interview, that you have B-Boards here and there. And I have four back. shows. Booked my problem. I called you almost three times. My B-Board full everywhere in Asaba. The other time I called you, you turned it down. How is it my problem? How is that my problem? Anyway, Credo, don't forget you told us not to deal with Ojazi. That we should deal with you. And all the money and every transaction passed through your account. These are all the receipts of the money that passed through your account. That means you've not been taking care of a jazzy. You've been lying to him. So you need to explain to him because these are all the evidence of the money passed through you. I've never dealt with a jazzy. The only time I gave a jazzy money was when he called upon me two, some weeks ago that his father was ill and I sent him some money in his account directly. That's the only money that's passed through my account to him. And also, I sent your wife some money. I told you to send your wife's account. And I sent some money to your wife. That's all. Every other money passed through your account. Why didn't you take care of these people? And you're calling me names. You're going to answer all this in court. You said but you spent six days state. in Lagos, big liar. Easter. You never spent six you days in Lagos. Easter the laundry. is just two, three days celebration. The first place is everything. Two days, the cost day us day almost 300 and something. Now that's the page. Piano, and I was excited. Everybody was excited, and I gave you three hundred thousand when you were going. Do you understand? How is it my problem? Your feeding and every other thing in the hotel was paid for by my humble self. Why are you lying to the public that or Jazzy paid for you three hundred thousand? Who gave a Jazzy? I will pull down the receipt, everything from the hotel, and I will get the proof. You will have to bring your proof of where you spent that money for six days and where you slept for six days. I want to see it. The last day we stayed, we had to pay for the food we ate, around seventy something thousand. That was the last day you spent. You came Lagos, you came to Lagos the second time on the island this time, and you stayed in the hotel for just, uh, I think it was one night or two, which everything was paid for. I have the receipt, and. My team paid for your feeding and your hotel, everything in the night. And you were to travel fresh flight in the morning by seven. And I slept, I was sleeping. And you had a guest in the night that came in. 
and he, he or she ate about 17,000, they ask you to pay for it. How is that my problem? This is the receipt, my people. You said 70,000, meanwhile 17. That's why he has been exaggerating and calling me names. You're going to defend all this in court. And you said you paid 750. Just crazy, Bobo Ishara. Listen to me, my brother. If I see anywhere they pay you 750,000 before Japiano, I will triple that money. You that came to our house, we were spraying you money. You need a PK go. I sprayed you, my mother sprayed you, my brother sprayed you, my siblings sprayed you. And you were so happy praising us. Today, you are dragging me for a song that is just barely five months. It's not even up to five months. I released that song 2nd of June. Go and check it. And this is just November. Check the time. You are going to defend everything you have said about me in court. Well, there is no way you so agree America, unless you have to do the video. Show me that reason. And I called you on the phone and asked you, what is going on? And you said, no, 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 that people want to spoil your business with me, that you're going to make a video. And you made two videos. You told me you made one the previous day you were supposed to post, that you're going to make another one. And you did two videos. Did I put gun in your head? No, I was in America. Why would you be saying I asked you to put the video? Did I force you to do it? You're also going to defend this. And for you, Igwe Credo and Ojazi that have been going around performing Oja Piano and Oja Ginger, my song, without my permission, without consent, making money off it, you're going to pay back that money. Because you did all that and you're still calling me out. This is the evidence of a registration of this Oja Piano song. It belongs to me. It's my genre. You have to pay for it. All the money you made out of this song, you're going to give it back to me. Since you're calling me names, you're going to defend this in court. And Igwe Credo and Ojazi, pay us, pay us, pay us, you're saying. This song is barely five months old. I haven't even collected the royalties from the songs. It's still out there piling. I didn't want to collect it because I needed time. Now, I paid you guys professionally for what you asked for. Now, because the song is blown, you are expecting, like Igwe Credo and you, uh, Ojazi said, that the song has made 1.6 billion. Even if you make 1.6 trillion, it's my business, it's my money, it's my music. Do you know how much it costs to promote music? Do you know how much it costs me to promote that song? So it's my choice and my decision if I want to be kind to you guys and give you guys something. Go and check all the people I've worked with in the past. Most of them I bought them cars, most of them I helped, most of them I sent abroad. I've done a lot for a lot of them. Why weren't you guys patient? Why are you guys not even patient? Then you started calling me out from the one because you don't know what the business is. You don't know how to run the business. You're going to defend all these insults you gave me in court. And again, you have heard from Casey himself explaining how everything went down. Well, at this point, I leave the conclusion, everything to you guys' hands. What do you think about it? You that is watching this video, you that is listening to me right now, you that is at the sound of my voice, let me know your opinion, your take, your contribution, what you think. Do you feel someone is not saying the truth or another person is saying the truth? Let me know down in the comment section. And please, if you know any possible way that you know that they can use and resolve this whole issue, let us also know down in the comment section so that this whole stuff will not escalate the more for me i say please they should try and resolve this whole matter amicably yeah thank you so much if you're asking who is speaking my name is olivia and this is getting a trial with olivia thank you so much please before you go give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and if you have not subscribed to my channel hey what are you waiting for please do smash on that subscribe button okay thank you so much and see you guys in my next video my queens and kings